Lord joins us live. Well, a very good morning, Aseto. Uh, indeed, uh, we are in Mombasa, where the National uh, Counter National Counter Terrorism uh, Center has organized, or rather, spearheading a uh, two days workshop. Remember that uh, with this uh, evolving nature of terrorism, uh, there's need uh, to review the counter-terrorism strategy after every seven years. And uh, remember that the work of the national uh, national. Uh, center uh, is usually to detect, deter, and also to disrupt acts of terrorism and also violent extremism. Uh, with me are two gentlemen that will be discussing further on the details of the workshop and also to just paint for us a picture of uh, where they come from because remember this workshop has brought together human rights organizations and also the media across the six coastal counties. Maybe kindly just set your name and uh, paint for us a picture of the county that you come from and uh, the situation at hand when it comes to uh, terrorism and uh, violent extremism. Thank you very much. My name is Simon Kate. I work with an organization by the name of Jihudi, which is an acronym for Justice, Humanity and Dignity Center. Uh, today we are here to engage with the National Counterterrorism Center to discuss and review the process since 2016 on matters to deal with violent extremism and actually dealing with the whole concept of terrorism. That is uh, when we all started all this process. As for me today, I'm here representing uh, Mombasa because I sit at the county engagement forum within the Secretariat to discuss matters of violent extremism and how best can we engage with different partners to deter uh, uh, vices that come across in matters of crime and where we have the juvenile gangs that we have today and this has been a good process because since 2016 where we could not speak on matters of terrorism today we are here and freely we can discuss these matters in open spaces so this is the review we want to look at and also discuss on different challenges we are facing today and how we can get from one angle to another in order to also find means of now prevention rather than countering because in most cases we find that we find ourselves countering things after they've happened but now we want to find means of how to do prevention across the board from the schools level from the institutions and also how do we work together with uh, government institutions in different sectors uh, statistically maybe compared to uh, three years ago how's the situation currently the situation is good and it's calm from the last three years Today, we actually can't feel a lot of issues to deal with violent extremism. Though we are having small pockets, what we are having currently is the most of the juvenile gangs, and we are also looking into it, and most of them are between the ages of 10 and 15. And we know there is no, uh, there is no law to protect or to take such uh, youths into custody for crimes they've committed. However, we are looking into it and to see how best can we handle such, uh, such activities. And we are also now bringing on board the parents because whenever a kid does something and disappears, there is a parent who is behind it. What is the responsibility of this parent? And these are the new angles we are going to discuss today going forward. Okay. So thank, thank you for your time. Let's hear from him. Introduction, please. Yeah, my name is Kashi Jamin from Kuala County. I work for Human Development Agenda. And basically, today we're here for two days just to review the national strategy on countering violent extremism, which was developed back in 2016. You know, a lot has changed since 2016 up to date. And I know in that the space of CVE, definitely it keeps imitating with time. So we are basically here to, to review the strategy and actually develop a new strategy that will take us uh, maybe going forward for the next five years. And one of the things that we'll be looking into reviewing is basically coming out clearly identifying the roles of the counties in managing or uh, protecting or preventing violent extremism. Because looking at the previous uh, strategy, there's no clear role of the county government in addressing issues around uh, violent extremism. So it's something that we'll be looking into, ensuring that we are coming out with a clear role of the counties in managing violent extremism in the county. Yeah. Uh, we've also had uh, cries, lamentations from civil society uh, concerning disappearances. Uh, is it one of the input that you look forward to present during this workshop? Yeah, basically, I think we have come a long way with this journey. 
and uh, disappearances was one of the issues that have been affecting I mean the communities especially the civil society actors into this space and one of the things we'll be looking into is actually at, uh, looking at the uh, access to justice especially to victims of uh, enforced disappearances victims of extrajudicial uh, executions uh, how do we facilitate access to justice by ensuring that the, there's clear collaboration between the civil society the national government the counties and also the communities that are affected by this vice Thank you for your time and all the best. Uh, well, there you have it, Seto. Those are some of the participants uh, who've come here today uh, for this 